words. So I'm introducing Chris Hosea, and it's my distinct pleasure to do so. And he is the recipient of the Walt Whitman Award from the Academy of American Poets. His manuscript, Put Your Hands In, was selected by John Ashbery, to whom we express gratitude for this exemplary choice. The book will be published by Louisiana State University Press in 2014. Chris Hosea earned an A.B. cum laude in English and American Literature from Harvard College, and he went on to receive his MFA from the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. His poetry is vibrant, quick-witted, with titles such as The Matinee I Took Chicken In, Choir Boy Skittles, Hopscotch Smudges, Brother Oxycontin, Words by Karl Marx, Tuxedo by Riot, I Too Am Gay. His poetry carries a refreshing, unpretentious sexual candor, making startling now you see it, now you don't moves like an illusionist, and is contemporary without being facile. He inculcates the restless quotidian in a swirl of modal energy run on manic constructs. Worried, new, smile, back from Berlin, come sooner, consumer, put down your cart. America's atonal dissident talents, heavy, no nodding to drone guitar, just there on your belly. Keeps going in its manic way, just there on your belly. Never nicer, you little miner, pass the salt. Some of these girls draw on more than one account that she was there, monsoon purple, or blank as a temp beneath fluorescent stars, spank in nervous paddle. Public do I still do I figure as a fugue in your life when moons break in your loft, reminding dandy professors of Shakespeare who knew of one of these girls, not a spider or minor, she is of a set to be a victory faster. This is uh, from one of these girls. And John Ashbery has written, exactly a century ago, the Armory Show brought European avant-garde art to New York. We are still experiencing its consequences. Among the works on view was Marcel Duchamp's notorious Nude Descending a Staircase, which a derisive critic wanted to rename Explosion in a Shingle Factory. <laughs> Both titles come to mind as one reads Chris Hosea's Put Your Hands In, which somehow subsumes derision and erotic energy and comes out on top. Maybe that's because poetry is the cruelest month, as he says, correcting T.S. Eliot. Transfixed in mid-paroxysm, the poems also remind us of Samuel Beckett's line in Watt, the pain not yet pleasure, the pleasure not yet pain. One feels plunged in a wave of happening that is about to crest. That's from John Ashbery. I saw the recent mini redux of the Armory Show, at the Historical Society, and after John's commentary, felt the restless, surreal pulse of this new poet putting his hands in the proverbial poetry mix. Congratulations, Chris Hosea. Thank you, Anne, uh, and uh, thanks to uh, the Academy and to John Ashbery. And I'd like to thank my teachers, James Tate, Dara Wire, Peter Gizzi, Henri Cole, and Helen Vendler. I'm going to read a poem uh, from the end of my manuscript, Songs for a Country Drive. Reach for a passenger's side handle. The forest, it stops. It now out of car morrow marked on drain device to stay Tuesday. Roll in back seat all knotted shirts from plants that billow and embellish the trail's rest area tale of diet cola warnings. Warming skin within. Her argument sudden but not understanding it. 
Whispers false show sawdust seen tracked upon arrival in country house. Memory goes below river party talk. An original pair on wheels. They like each other. Are like spreading fluids over themselves, attractive so to sing, to move, all guests gone. This in sight of a great thinker's homestead, too, worried by work to picnic, they find a visor left stitched neatly with palm trees in the name of a holiday town mostly rubbed out with use, shining it brown, yellows, breakthrough rainbows, the acrylic piping. Nobody went near empty trash buckets there where the visor fell. Why, they that stopped before couldn't bend, bound to an acceptable, ever-present position. Some stranger on the web forgave you, forgive up fighting, because the state was not, after all, in any way a grand scheme of things. It was nowhere to be forgotten. Away the light fuses on the road, faces dangling, swinging censored digital memory methods so the viewer can't say who was there, only when standing a round of water, stories not over asked for, complicated maps, clubs conspire for getting an escaped youth, victim of a new century of slapping sense into profits. That afternoon in the park corner, the man was just dripping footnotes in proper style. Have the floor to dance for more color strikes, flashes, symbols collapsing into nothing, vitals. Like speeding out of tunnels as the rationale for mountain network collapse stops making the news. Whose voice the Commodore doubled back? Little charmer in pajamas chewing wildflowers snapped in hidden uncles visiting lens. Tumbler cradled in hitch of tennis elbow, so to be turned out from what mending time and the elements precipitate in a ride inside whatever winds throw for stinging stretches never to know. You would not once put your finger on that string of desert highway given to sad sacks, making an ass of what got many this far. Hysterically dour, a fortunate error, now wanting doubts as to how it sounds outside one long gone head. So hot piece of far to go. Blue then mixed, then voices in the car aren't ours. So much can be done in a studio. It takes the entirety of outer space to absorb. When he put his face in the vase, crying crayon on the walls, not seen every day, to think it is enough to press buttons to know where people come from in rooms in Brazil. You read what the caption says, and who would you be to guess? Otherwise, pull the safety blanket over your head and say some smart words about the last 10 books you read. To be perfectly clear, it means smiles. Impossible raindrops keep falling into eyes listing for the pause before applause. Staring at atmospheres, heavy like tons of bricks, clicking down around you, auditor. Yawn, auditor. You. Remember when she said this feeling like home, wireless light become orange. And there was hearing again and again and listening. Going out and getting on the subway out to the end of the line to go down to where the ships would get wet if there were ships. And I've been told if there's a riptide, you let it take you out and then on a diagonal you swim back. Thank you. <laughs>